M0 FXP Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. So to get tight VNC, just go to this link in the description, click your 64-bit or 32-bit I am Windows, click keep, and then just run it. And just go next, 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 and then you'll end up with, if we try and open mine here, with something like this, and then you obviously need to put in the right IP addresses. There's lots more to this, but anyway, hope this helps. Let's move on to the next part. M0 FXB, just a quick one here. We've got tight VNC viewer, and look, we're looking at the Zygu, looking at the Zygu X6100 here, and we've got control. If I change the frequency, you can see it change. If I change the power, the power's going up now, look, going up to 10 watts because we're on an external power supply. I'll just show you the radio. Now the radio, I've just, I'm actually running um, Armbian on it and uh, we've got WSJTX and we've even got type VNC using the local IP address. So how do I, how did I do this? Just download VNC viewer. When you're doing your connection here, we'll just do a new connection here, look. Just put, I've just put in the IP address that I've got from my my home router here, look, X6100 is coming up 107. So I've just used that IP address just there. So just have a little search, have a little network search. Then you just, I just type that in here with the dot dot 5901 and then hit connect. Let's do it now and uh, it'll come up again. And look, we're even good, we'll go up a band here. We'll down a band and you'll see it change as well and you've got the other functions here i'll hit them i'm not sure if they'll come up no, they, they actually don't come up but you get the main frequency you can change band looks like the tabs work anyway just a bit of fun to catch you on air type vnc zygo x6100 and just having a bit of fun 73 all the best m0 fxb just messing around with this image that i've got and look yeah as you can see we've got ft8 now I, I'm still having problems with uh, being able to access all the buttons on the screen, but what I did manage to get working was the built-in VNC viewer, which allows me to actually view the radio. So if we click here, like so, we can actually see the radio. Now I'm not getting the, the waterfall, but I am getting the frequency. I can change the frequency, no problem. I can use the ATU. I can change mode, as you can see, and change the power, that's working. So you know, I'm just sort of playing around, when you upload this image to your SD card, you know, there's several applications that have been added to this program, and thanks very much. Uh, terminal editor, file manager, mail reader, web browser, settings there, look, look at all that. Lots to look at. Accessories, it's even got chirp here, let's click chirp. Now that I, see if that opens up and what that would be used for, I'm not really sure. And anyway, I've clicked it, if it appears we'll look at it. So you've got the uh, WJSTX, that's your waterfall. Now I, my audio still isn't picking up. Now I've joined these two cables together, but I'm still it's still not working, but I'm still enjoying learning it. Multimedia, look. Fusion's there, pulse audio, JS8 core. We'll click that, just why not? There's an error there, but we're still, we're just okay. We've obviously got my mouse plugged in. So it's, so you can actually, because the, the, my thing was, oh, I can't see the actual radio anymore, but now I can. So as you, as you can see, I've clicked a few things here. Seeing if they open up. Applications. Now, Wi-Fi wise, I found that all you have to do is just double click here and then you just like you on your phone really and then you get the eventually you'll get the options to there you go to find and discover 
and connect and put passwords in. Same goes for Bluetooth, which is here. Bluetooth, look, devices, adapters. Look, now is that VNC there again? Plugins as well. Click VNC again. So yeah, just tinkering really. Something's come up there, my VNC. So can I load that IP address there? 20.1, can I put that into something on my PC and then view this screen? I'll have a go. Yeah, well, no luck, but anyway, still tinkering. Accessories, sure, that never opened up, did it? Internet, well, we know we can get internet. And then to, to get sort of come out of this, you can log out here, look. Um, log out, let's just click log out. Let's just shut down some of these things. Oh, there we are, it says log out. And then we'll just turn it off, hold it down. Got a little bit warm, but I have got the charger in. And then let's pop the SD card out. Keep that somewhere safe. And now, in theory, when we just turn it on like normal, M0 FXB, still just mucking around here with the X6100. We've loaded up the uh, the image that is open source and I'll put a link in the description for that. So look, if you look now, now you are meant to connect the two USB together. That is uh, here on the side, the host and the DEV. So USB-C, just connect them together. Now on this image, everything's been put in for you apart from your call sign. So you're going to have to go to File, Settings, um, and then look, in the ra the radio settings are fine. The audio is fine once you've connected the cables, but in general, you're going to need to connect your sorry, not connect, get your call sign in and your grid locator. I think everything else seems okay. And then let's just close that down, like so. It, there's a bit of a lag. And then we'll just get it on a dummy load a minute. Well, then the audio isn't connected anyway, so it's not going to go anywhere. So look, if we did go enable TX, it works straight away. And then look, halt. Uh, changing the frequency, look. 80 meters. So it's all working. 20 meters. I haven't worked out how to actually just look at the radio, the original radio. I know it's changing. Because watch, if I change it on the actual radio, it changes. And then, look, even if I change the frequency, it's changing, look. Going down now. There we go. Hit the FST again. So I think let's try the PTT on top. Yeah, that works. So it's all working. I, I just haven't worked out how to uh, how to see the actual the nor the radio without FT8. Now within this program, I've noticed there's other applications that have been put into this program. Don't forget, I never made this. this so you've got all these applications here. As you can see. Pulse Audio, which I know is an important one. GSA Core. Message, well, WSJTX, of course. Internet. We've got FL Digi. Have a look, Chrome, Fire, 
accessories. File manager, chirp. You got chirp up there, I noticed. Chirp. And accessories. Bulk rename. Midnight commander. Don't know what that is. Web browser. Definitely the internet and the Bluetooth is all is all working. Someone's put a lot of work into this. Um, so thanks very much. My problem is I'm just not, when I put the settings in, I'm not able to get to the bottom of the screen. So file, settings. I'm not able to get to the bottom of the screen. Yeah, so the bit I'm stuck on, because I've never used um, Ambient. Is how do I get to the bottom of that? So I can click the OK, you know? But, you know, I don't think I really would use this, but I think others would. So it's pretty cool. Um, multimedia. Run a program, terminal. I did see VNC here earlier. Now that to me seems very good thing to use because then you could, I could, so from that point of view I could view it on my PC, couldn't I? And I could make change settings on my PC just by using the IP address. I've lost it now, but it was here somewhere. VNC. Right. Anyway, so. need to get yourself an adapter join the two USBs together that's, but really that's all you need everything else is within the radio so anyway at the beginning of this video I'll just quickly have a link showing uh, where you can download download it and just remember it's when you boot it up from this so we'll turn it off now oh, look at all that lots of options um, we've still got the mouse connected just via the USB Log out, suspend. It's all very good, but anyway, I'm just going to turn it off. Like so. It's not really letting me use the map. Ah, shut down. There you go. Shut down. Okay. Please let me shut down. <laughs> I will shut down in the end. Okay, shut that down. It's clicking a lot. Right. There you are. It did actually shut down then. So if I take this SD card out, you wouldn't be able to boot Amber in. But just remember that when you turn it on, you hold down the on button and this button here at the same time and then it boots into that ambient, ambient window. But if we take the SD card out and try and do that, let's try it, push that button and the second button and in theory it, it shouldn't, you know, it won't boot into ambient. I'm curious to know if it's loaded something permanently on this radio. Let's see when it when the SD card yeah look it's gone straight back to normal use. There you go. And then if we turn it off, like so. Put the SD card back in. You know I'm just sort of tinkering, like so. So it's off, SD card back in, facing forward, and then back to the actual radio. Then, like I said, hold down those two buttons. It can be a bit glitchy and quite slow, but you wait for it to do this weird flash, there you are, which makes you scared that something's gone wrong. Then it goes into this, and then you just wait. It does take a few minutes, Run it, I'll let it run live just so you see. I'll 
So I'll pause it and I'll, I'll come back. Right, it keeps going. You eventually get this nice long string. You've got to be quite patient because you've got, actually got to wait for it to get to the login window. The username is root. Password is 1234. And all the programs are, have already been installed into this image that you're going to get from the link in the description. There you are, so it's, it turned itself off. Well, the screen goes black, but you have to keep waiting. You've got a little cursor there, you have to wait, and eventually, it takes a couple of minutes, a few minutes, you'll get the login screen. And then that's when you've got to plug in your keyboard and um, into the USB. Try it there, there, there's your login. Keyboard's now connected here. Right, like so, and I'm going to type on the keyboard root. No, I know it's not clear, but it, that's root. Hit enter. And then one, two, three, four. Enter. And then eventually, you get the ambience or I don't know, desktop screen, should we call it? Will show up. There you go. If you're familiar with Ambien, I mean, I guess it is a bit similar to. There you go. Raspbian, I suppose. And look, to get my to configure the internet, I just plugged in a mouse. Same into the same. It's actually the host port. And look, I could. I could use that to get my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth all up here and then, and then all your settings and applications are on the left and just play with it but let me know how to get my get lower down on the thing you know there must be a way of doing it so 7.3 thanks for watching it's been fun all the best